pick the Seraphine, Shadow House. It's gonna be pretty hard because he's basically just gonna be controlling me, but we'll try our best, right? We're pretty nice, so I guess. We'll turn 2 because I can one extra and then turn and play you and pop another plunder on turn 3. But I would like to get my early game units. I guess I follow Morgan for my early game units because this is this is just wasting two cards for plunder. I really need my units, my early game units. Come to me. <laughs> None. Well, I guess I should have kept my hand there. That's just far away, but you think a spell just to ping the hell is basically useless. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So, this is gonna be a pretty hard matchup for me, I guess. Finally, a playable minion. But, yeah, Mystic Shot. I'm just gonna say Mystic Shot. <clears throat> I mean, just so I can actually. Uh, hit my uh, plunder. I might as well just play you for another attacker. You know, just in case you get Mystic Shot. So he needs like three Mystic Shots. That's fine. So I, that means I can parlay a Victor next turn if he blocks. And activate plunder again. Yep. So he blocks. Yeah. So uh, you do this. Hopefully he does get tough or spell shield because I would really like to hit Victor next turn. It looks like it's fine because I can always kill Victor with para Polly. Yep, so he used this deck, so I don't if he gets tough or spell shield, I'm super screwed. Play pack is uh, fine by me. Say goodbye to that Victor. That's some pretty good keywords, but he didn't have keywords to protect himself, so that's that. Why are you thinking? You, you're playing Pewto and Shadow Arts, you don't have spells to protect yourself, right? Right? What's this? <sighs> sure. But this is Make It Rain the Night to heal. I'm not getting any better Make It Rain than this because this uh, does get prop again, right? He does generate the card, but he does get a life too, and I still get my blood. Card. This time again. Minion, sure. I can go vine. Nice to meet you. I'm JK, no more vineers, huh? Okay. So, I'm basically there, huh? Wait, what? You. Oh, okay, you Whatever got this. I thought. How? Why? Why a femoral game? I, I treated you so well. And hey, you give me a femoral unit? Why? I just asked. Why? And why? Why five champions? I just asked why. Sometimes I just gotta ask. Why? You're pretty good for next turn, I guess. If he blocks with this unit to a to a two attacker, and I can parley again. Hopefully, he doesn't like wow feast or to the nine. Why? Why six champions game? Why? Give me a tree next turn. Nah, I don't even activate plunder this turn. I mean, sure. So I guess I need to parley this turn. Yeah. To actually uh, prop plunder here, right? So you got to be 3 out of, three out of 5. You know, he vow feast this, he has uh, us with a holos game, mistake shot is only one. Okay, that's pretty good. So you guys are 3 out of 5. Can't believe I got 3 gangplanks, like why? Some games I just don't get any of my champions. Some games I just only get 1 and just enough to win the game. And some games I get this. Just this. Um, you're pretty nice, so I guess I play you and Gangplank here. Because you can prop plunder next turn Gangplank if I open attacks and or at least one unit hits Gangplank with level, so that's pretty good. I mean, sure, hopefully he doesn't get like, something crazy like... Uh, there's a lot of good 5 spell cards he could get, so hopefully he doesn't get any of them. Are you all online for tickets sure, too? so I guess I play you now. For me, the spirits dance. The block, I guess I could block like this because you're just gonna you know, die blocking your next turn, right? You won't do anything actually. This could provide overwhelm damage, which I pretty much would like. Mm, okay, this is looking decent, I guess. Pass. So I attack here, okay, overwhelm damage. You can draw me the last Ajani, I guess. 
graphic. Yep, so my champions are level, finally. That's pretty nice. But sadly I don't have light one to make it with the you know, pop stage on his ability. I don't think I developed here too because cough cough rumination, right? I can get my whole board here. So I guess I just don't play anything here for now. Glorious evolution is a pain in the butt. Only problem is uh Poros, sorry. It looks like Poros could end my life. I draw you, I draw like a third, the third switch on in right, sure. So I have a high, higher likelihood to draw into Make It Rain and Morning Shots and my parlays. There's one of the elusive units, so I guess I gotta remove it, right? Good. Everyone pays. I guess I end turn, right? Yeah, I end turn. It's not a, a power gang, so hopefully it doesn't have a lot of uh, too much elusive units. This one, so I basically killed off one, right? Then I get a barkeep, so basically I don't need to play around my uh, nation. So I just need to play around uh, a bunch of portal this turn. Because if you place a bunch of portal this turn, I'm dead. So because glorious evolution just nerfed them by uh, zero cost, so I can play portal, portal, portal. portal. There's one elusive unit. Hooray. It's only just 5 damage, right? It's only just 5 damage, right? Yeah, it's just 5 damage. Right? It's just 5 damage. And I say that and later like, you see like he playing like 5 burst spells and suddenly becomes like a 20-20. Okay, that's pretty good to me. I snipe off one elusive, I snipe off one elusive unit and I first by the whole board. Okay. So, I guess he could bow feast and mystic shot this guy. Yeah, I guess he's doing it, right? I mean... You hit the plunder, right? Yeah. And reduce everyone by by zero because frostbite. You're still a 3-3, what? Why are you still a 3-3? I mean... That's crazy. Do you still do damage? Or this does a visual bug? I'm gonna block with my 3-4 and see what happens. He's basically done, right? Because... So the only way he wins here is just a bunch of Poro cannons. Don't get an elusive unit. But oh, that's fine. I mean, sure. Play you, give me a good unit. Hey, that's an elusive unit. I can block elusive units. That's pretty good. I can... Oh, Serpine. Is Serpine leveled? Not yet, 8 or 9, but this spell is most likely just gonna be played, right? To level Serpine here. So I need to block all units because... I can't land one hit, if one at least like goes a bunch of damage. I can't take too much damage. Hmm, yeah. Because uh, he might have got excited and stuff like that. Sure I can block with all my units and I keep my champions on. I could if he uh pokes this with like anything, probably stay any any spells that ping the health I could save it with uh, Fury of the North. So the only thing I need to play around is uh, stuff like Vengeance, because Vengeance, uh, I can't really protect Vengeance, right? So, so this is the play, he answers this, I'm basically dead, right? He's blocking, so he might not have it. Okay, it's a good sign that he's blocking all Vengeance. All that thing. He could still get Vengeance, because Vengeance is reduced by 1, and reduced by 1 again by Bug as Bar. He didn't use Vengeance this game, so Vengeance still in the table, like he could top 10. So let's just see. He better he got vengeance or not. I guess he's got vengeance. Or like high note. High note can deal 3 4 damage because he haven't played it yet. What is this? Double mystic shot? What unspeakable horrors and I uh, overgrowth? A lot of cards I'm mentioning. Because like there's so many cards you could get. He's serving deck after all. Uh, and of course he got like song spinner, right? He got song spinner from progress day. He got song spinner from progress day. All right, you know, generate a bunch of good two cost spells, right? Why as well? What like stun, you know, like uh healing, like guiding touch, you know. Just draw a bunch, just get them, right? Like pale cascade to buff our unit by one one, so I won't I won't be able to do one more extra damage, you know. Just do your bunch of stuff, you know, like. 
and duplicate it too, right? Yeah, because you have Seraphine on board. Totally, totally, yeah. Okay, that's that's a good sign. A good sign. Okay, yeah, I like double get a okay, uh, guiding touch, you know? Where's these two cards? What the hell? It's not playing that now. Okay, I guess. I need to say, I need to just win this game. I can't, like, not win. What is this? What is this? You've been hovering these two spells for the whole game. Yeah, I know. I still frost by the whole board. So this this pings by two, this pings by two, and this pings by two. Frost by. Okay, this actually saves getting blank here, so I can win again. Right. So King Plank will survive back to one, and I can actually try to win this game again. Oh, this is Saren. Oh, good game, man! Like, Jesus Christ! Man. You never know, better could win again. Was like, you get Guiding Touch, um, uh, Stung Yasuo spell, Gwen Katarina. It's gonna be a pretty hard matchup because he's gonna, he's gonna uh, free attack with Katarina, right, and Gwen. Turn 1 can keep you, turn 2 I can attack with you. That keeps a Johnny for turn 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I can play a Johnny on my turn on turn 6 and try to keep a champion. But I guess I would like to get other cheap cards to actually plunder first, right? Because if I do keep a Johnny, if I don't have any plunder cards, you know, a Johnny is just gonna be useless in hand. I, I, that's, a, that's a free a Johnny basically on turn 4. From behind a basilisk. Play you. It's yeah, attacks right? Time. Yeah. I guess I play you turn 2 and I attack, right? Yeah, should be fine. Hopefully. And then uh, turn 3 I make it rain. Hopefully he summon a bunch of units that has 1 health. Should be fine, right? If he does that. I can just make it rain and snipe everything. Hopefully he doesn't play uh, get the arena on turn 3 too, because I will not answer that. Hmm, sure. Should be fine, right? Because this deal does overwhelming damage, so I, I will be able to actually plunder here. He most likely blocks here. That's fine. And hopefully he plays like a bunch of one health follow units. Uh, that's fine. Perfect for make carrying. Play the fearsome one, the two cost three one fearsome unit, so I can play make it rain. Doesn't. I guess I don't need to play make it rain here, I can always just play parlay here. Should be fine. Do one damage to Nexus, so plunder again. Second one. Wow, he's not letting me activate plunder. Let me make it rain here. I don't think so. I can, I can wait. And turn. Sure. Just warning shot. I play you. I draw gangplank. Sure, I can play gangplank and make it rain and do two to three enemies now. He pass. I guess I can attack you. Sure. He blocks a spiderling, of course. Can pass here, sure. Another wild piece? Okay, that's, that's fine. Okay, sure. I okay. I guess I play make it rain here because if I pass, he might play a third unit and make it rain my uh, miss right the nexus. So I make it rain here and I might play a uh, Jack Butcher and you again. This on the board right. Kind of afraid of a Katarina here. He passed. Yeah, I think I'm going uh wide right. I'm going extra uh, a wide with my board. Another game plan. I mean sure. I was looking for a Johnny, but you know, it is what it is. If I spider the stung, I mean, alright. He might flock it now. Play his Jack Butcher. He's, sadly, he doesn't have any of his champions, which is kind of bad for him, but it's good for me, so I don't mind. To attack, plunder again. I might play Gangplank for the barrel to make it rain. So on my next attack, 
Sure. Because I have another gangplank, right? If he does remove gangplank, I can just play gangplank. So on my next attack, on like 1, 2, 3, uh, next attack, turn 8, right? Yeah, I'll be able to activate plunder. So I'm because I'm definitely... Make it rain? If I make it rain, he just blade edge, right? So I I do this. No way, but if I do that, I won't be able to get gangplank. Okay. I guess play is the way. He attacks first, right? Yeah, let him attack first. So he attacks first. Go for it, dude. Yes, she attacks first. Yeah, I'm sure. What will what will he be resummoning? The spider. I mean, that's fine. So. I block like this, I block like this, I make it rain. Hopefully it hit Kat Katarina. Right? Hopefully. Hit. Yes, wow, perfect. Hits the Nexus and Katarina and the Spider. So he does this, right? Oh wait, but the first one doesn't count because the first one doesn't do anything. So I need to hit the second one. Hit these again. Oh my god, I, I hit... It's pretty lucky. So now I need to hope he doesn't have another Blade Edge to remove the barrel. And this should be fine because I'll be killing Katarina here. And I'll be able to level Gangplank next turn with a warning shot. You'll be at 4, You've and I'll be at attacking. It's pretty good, I guess. Do I warning shot first though? Because if I warning shot first next turn, I'll be able to level Turbo, uh, Spurs speed level Gangplank, so he will be able to use his skill, the D1 to everything, right? I mean, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure, I'm cool with that. I think I warning shot next turn. Yeah. To push for more damage with a gangplank skill. I play back shot for sure. Sure. I never miss. So that's fine. You won't you won't be you he won't be able to play Katarina because he's uh three mana shot, right? So say Johnny is pretty good. I guess I play say Johnny here. Right? No way I do this. I I use uh gangplanks uh uh this this spell the slow speed spell right. So I level my gangplank and say Johnny, and I have warning shots. So if he uh you know do whatever he wants, I can just cross by all his quarters. So that should be the plan. Because he's definitely gonna play Katarina here and try to attack. And when he plays Katarina, I'm going to cross by Katarina. Who do I cross by? You or you? I guess I force by Katarina. Or do I just attack? I'll show him pain. Attack I do one, I won't be able to push for Nito because he blocks the two units and Gangplank only hits for you know measly six damage. So I guess this is the play to Johnny. That was a pretty good top deck. Only the strong survive. So I say Johnny here. No I have warning shot. This should be fine. He attacks with this guy, I don't mind. Since uh, it won't do anything. In Cantarina can hit and re uh, start a free attack again. Sure. Oh. Then I'll be just doing this again. I mean, I could put Cantarina over here. And just do it like this. So the barrel will hit and everyone will get forced back again and I'll be doing 12 damage. That's pretty nice. He can't do anything, he only has one spell left. And none of my units are already damaged, so he can't use Flock. GG. Uh, discard uh, Draven Jinx, sure. Turn 1, turn 1, turn 2, uh, turn 4, sure. Do I keep you for turn 3 when I uh, attack with this unit again? Um, yeah, I keep you for turn 3 because when I play you on turn 2, then I'll open attack with you if you on turn 2 and uh, on turn 3, and I'll be playing you at 1 cost 3 3 and play you on turn 4. I guess this is fine. Yep, this should be fine. Now I just need to hope that he doesn't he, he doesn't mystic shot you on country, which is pretty bad for me. Uh, I can trade with this. Yeah, I'm activating plunder. I trade with a two one. Be fine. 
Now I just gotta avoid all his get excited mystic shot and jinx super mega death rocket. That's a pretty nice turn, uh, turn two. But I have you a way better card since you also activate planter this turn. I don't need to block this right, yeah, because I will be attacking on, with you on turn three. Okay, ready. Hopefully he doesn't have a uh, mystic shot now. He mystic shot is pretty bad because uh, I won't be able to activate planter this turn. So John is a pretty good turn six play because I can maybe draw into gangplank with this. On turn 5 and play you. Mystic shot, get excited. Wow. I throw chan, I get plunder. If I don't throw chan, I die. Um, because if I throw chan here, I get plunder. Turn 4, turn 5. Turn 5, I get the hit again. I activate plunder again. And turn 6, turn 7, I can play to chan and then I again. The only problem is, I think I throw chan here, right? Because I, I don't think I have. Um, I won't have future turns where I can activate plunder on his attack because I might not top deck into another plus figure and my warning shots will make it rain. So I guess I do this to guarantee the hit to plunder or plunder. Sadly, sometimes you just need to do what you need to do and play you. Sure. Before I develop you, I attack again. Should be fine, right? Because he's not gonna open attack. Oh, two chance is pretty good. I think I take the sex damage here, right? I could draw Gangplank, but Gangplank's not even leveled yet too, so... I guess I'm saving mana for Trojan here. And blocking. Anything else? <laughs> another... just got another crowd favorite, sure. I guess I play you now. <laughs> yep, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. He only has one mana here, so... I could technically block like this and buff the health and no this guy. Uh, the only uh, thing that ruins this is vision, because mm, he could use spinning X and discard vision to buff you by two again, and then you'll be at three again and you can trade with this guy again. So actually, I should do this right here because the tough actually matters. So if I when I give you plus two health, you'll be technically at four health because of tough and spinning X. And Vision won't be able to trade, make a good trade here. Because when you discard, uh, because I'll be buffing you by. It. Wait. Oh. Um. I just. Yeah. Because, uh, again, if I use this to block, Vision can actually make a good trade again. But now Vision does not. Because uh, you technically have 4 health, vision, buff, uh, vision and spinning axe buffs buff Draven by 2 attack and can make a good trade with this unit but you won't because this unit has stuff so this is the right play. And I open attack for 6 damage, he won't double mystic shot right, that'd be crazy. Yeah, should be fine. And then I, I play you and get gangplank and prop plunder again next turn. Yeah. And level C Johnny and gangplank. Should be fine. Jinx is pretty scary because turbo level Jinx here. Yeah. I might as well just wait for him to level Jinx here. Yeah. Wow, he's not leveling Jinx here? Yeah. I mean, bro. He's missing out on 4 damage. I guess I do this and this here. Yeah. Get excited. I mean, sure. I guess I do this to proc plunder. Yep. And see Johnny's level, you can draw me into a gangplank. Rummage. That's probably the best discard card you could get. Just now he gets two free cards, which is pretty pretty annoying for me. I thought he was gonna use his spinning axe to discard like flame chompers or anything, but that's rummage is pretty good because he, now he can draw into like character. Okay. He already used one character, so I guess I need to play around two now. Right? Yeah, right. Wow, house spider. That's a pretty good top deck. If I don't play a unit now, he attacks and do 3 damage. If I play a unit now, he just rockets and still do 3 damage. So, equal, uh, either way, not blocking, uh, it should be fine. First, yeah. Because he's tempting to use a Super Mega Red Death Rocket to push for more damage. And I can play you to block for damage. Oh, he's not using it? He's using it first, right? Yeah. To remove one blocker, so push for 5 more damage. Yep. This should be the play for him. You any any card should work, but I'm most likely playing 
uh, si Johnny next turn. Right? Yeah, most likely I'm playing si Johnny next turn. Yeah, two attacks. I block this line move, and I'll be at eight. I I challenge uh, use si Johnny to challenge Jinx, so he can't won't get a so mega death rocket next turn. Hopefully, he just draw into a a bunch of units, so he won't be able to get the super mega death rocket. Here. You're pretty good too. Oh, you get seven, seven OQ, six. I won't be able to win this turn. Play you, I do one to thing. I, he blocks of Jinx most likely, and I do seven. Hmm. So I play you, you go to seven, you do two to the everything. So Jinx will be at one, so you heal block for six damage. And I do two two extra damage because of the gameplay skill, right? So six and when he grows by one one when he levels and he deals two more damage from the his skill i'll be pushing for nine damage jinx will be able to we will only be able to block one and i'll be pushing for eight damage which is uh, exactly lethal okay this should be the play johnny was the play but i won't be able to win this turn i would like to win this turn because he might like pop damage which shot a bunch of things that it's pretty annoying next turn so i guess i do this yeah and i open attack Clear his whole board and push for overwhelm damage. Yeah, GG. You know, so uh, the the what the one minus four speed does to do one more damage to the so, GG. That's just enough damage. Okay.